So oftentimes we have to label the property line with azimuths or varying distance labels. So in this case, I want to add labels to my red line. To do that, I'll go to the annotate tab of the ribbon and go to the add labels button. Here I can choose what type of feature I want to label. In this case, the red line. So I want to choose line and curve. And then the this, this segment type. I can either label one segment at a time, or if I have a polyline, I can do multiple segments. When I choose multiple segments, it'll add it to the midpoint of the polyline segments. In this case, I have lines and arcs, so I'm going to use single segment. For the label style, I want to choose one that looks correct. So I can either go azimuth to distance or distance to azimuth. If I want to drag it away, I can do azimuth to distance as composed. So I'm going to choose that option. Here I can choose azimuth to distance or distance to azimuth. I can also do radius end and radius start. So I'm going to start with azimuth distance for my curves. Before I do that, I'm going to isolate it so I can e more easily see the red lines. So I'm going to right click and select similar for one arc and one line. And then I'm going to right click, go to isolate objects and isolate selected objects. So now I can see it a little bit easier. And then press add and add that label to the screen. Don't worry if it's too small, we can always adjust that later on. So once I have the label set up, I can always change my annotation scale to maybe one inch equals 20. And then now my labels are a little bit bigger. I can drag the labels to where they need to go by just clicking on the diamond and moving them to a new location. I can also drag them away from the line by clicking on the square grip and dragging it away. Sometimes we are requested to add uh, radius values for the curves. And we can do that by changing the curve style to radius end or radius start. And then I can press add and add that to the value there. So now it's going to automatically add the radius for the end. And then I can do the same thing for the start. And I could just go around and add those to the curves. Once I'm happy with them, I can have them there. If I change my mind and say, hey, I want to drag this as a leader instead of being able to keep it in one location, I just need to go and change the style. So I'd go into AutoCAD properties, find the label style that I want to change, the line or curve, and then I can change it from azimuth to distance as composed to azimuth to distance. And you can see that it then updates and now looks in the drag state. And that's how I can change it from drag to as composed.